Okay. Oh, it's real late on Hot 97. Peter Rosenberg. Uh-huh. Uh, more importantly, Smoke Dizzle and Pete Rock. Let me uh-huh. start again. Here we go. Hello. Hey. Uh-huh. Oh, Rosenberg, Pete Rock. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Smoke Dizzle, Pete Rock. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Let's go. Let's go. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Try it. Let's, let's try another one. I just want to see. Let's see if we can make Pete ad lib all day. Whoop. Hey. What, what's my ad libs like again? Ow. Ow. <laughs> you have them here. Here we go. Come on. Yeah. Uh, main one, two. You did one, two uh, on here a lot. One, two. Uh, one, two. Yeah, there it is. Uh, one, one, two. The main ingredient, y'all. Beat one, rock two. and the smoke dizzle are y'all. in the building. Real yeah. late, hot 97. Yeah. You know it's officially holiday season. Mm-hmm. The album is out. Smoke, you came here and you told me a while ago about this project. You seem very excited. Yes. And I was like, that sounds cool, man. You know, Pete's amazing. You're amazing. Let's see what's up. Right. But I didn't have the same excitement you had because I thought, let's hope for the best. You never know how a collab is going to sound. Right. And now I know (laughs) why you were so excited. Exactly. Because this project is thorough. Thank you so much. Thank you. Congratulations to both of you guys on putting together an amazing, amazing album. Don't Smoke Rock, the yes. name of the album. Don't yes. Smoke Rock. That's yes. the name of the album and the group. And I'm, and the group. I, I'm, I'm Instagram live right now, so everybody can know. Oh, yeah. So you guys video. are rocking. You guys are to stay with. Is Don't Smoke Rock going to be the name of the group whenever you guys are together? That's the name yes. of the group. Whenever yes. we do anything, it's Don't Smoke Rock. Mm-hmm. Um, because I guess it's messed up because you probably want to just call yourself Smoke Rock, but that well, sounds crazy. <laughs> but it sounds crazy, right? That's why. That's why we put the don't before that, so we can leave some type of positive yeah. message yeah. to and whoever's then, you know. Our, our real names will be mentioned in in the songs. Pete Rock, Smoke Business. Right, right. It's right there for everyone. We're gonna play some joints. If you don't have it, this is a. Is there a physical for their CDs yet? Yeah, yeah, we're yeah, in yeah, Best Buy, yeah. FYE. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. people can get this as a stocking stuffer for the holidays. Yeah, stocking, yes, sir. for sure. It's a great, yo, I'm, I'm dead ass right now. Mm-hmm. I say that with Timberlands. <laughs> dead ass. <laughs> <laughs> all, you, all you missing is your uh, your Knicks or your, or your yeah. Yankee fitted. Yeah, exactly. exactly. Yankee fitted and Timberlands. I'm dead ass. Mm-hmm. If you have a hip hop head in your life, you have that real hip hop fan in your family. Mm-hmm. Who loves that real rap? This yep. really would make an amazing stocking stuffer. Absolutely. Grab that for the holidays. Absolutely. Thank you guys. So how did you guys uh, link up? How did this this come to be? I used to carry P crates when I was 20, 19. To get Is that really club. true? That's yeah. Real life. Yeah. Really? Yeah. Yes. Back in the day, I was working with John Shapiro and uh, Shipes, actually, and. What were you, you know, doing with Shipes back then? Little, Young little Shipes. Helping me out, you know, you just helping, okay. a little bit. And we was doing some gigs. He had, you know, set up some gigs. And, you know, Smoke Dizzle was, was right there. You know what I'm saying? Like, with, with Shipes at the time. So we kind of got acquainted. And then we got cool, you know, and we, you know, you know what friends do. You know, uh, you know, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like... We, we, we put one up in the air uh-huh. a couple times. A couple times. And then, you know, he would help me out at my DJ gigs. And that's it. Yeah. And, then, and so, I, yo, I did not know that you guys were connected going that far back. Yes. And I, I never, like, forced my music on because I felt like I wasn't that good. <clears throat> or at, least at the good, time. At the time. Wow. Because it's, it's Pete Rock. So, I, I you know, I, I had to, like, earn my stripes and let it come across his desk before I was like, <laughs> yo, bro, could we work? Then so, Dear know? Winner came across and my desk. Dear, yeah, and then Dear Winner came across and I got that text like, woo, <laughs> mad O's. Like, oh, that's hard. <laughs> yo, I might have to get on that. Yeah. He's like, yo, we need to do something. Yeah. And then, you know, trickle. So it really, this is a good lesson for, for kids out there. So this really came organically, mm-hmm. even though you guys knew each other. It still yeah. wasn't a situation where you pressed it. mm it was, I pressed it after I heard that, of course. <laughs> and even before when we was, you know, he's doing the crate thing. And I don't think I even knew he rapped. You know what I'm saying? I just thought he was a cool guy. You know what I'm saying? And we, we you know, find out later that he smoked Dizza. Right. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> and he's not only like, a cool guy, but yeah, he can rap pretty can well, too. He can rap his ass off. So I was like, you know what? Man, and you know, you know, it's interesting. I, uh, I like the, um, Dizza, I like the new... You're, you're sort of over the, in my opinion, over the last, I don't know how long, you've been developing a, a bit of a new look on, on Instagram. This grown, <laughs> this grown smoke dizzle with the glasses. Yep. And yeah. uh, you've gone a little less like Jersey and wrestling big thing and more into the sweater glasses yeah. vibe. I kind of like it. You kind of like it? I, I think I, I like I'm it. I'm hearing it from, my, from one of my real friends. Yes. So I, I could take that. But, um, hmm. I mean, you know, we like, we, we're marks. 
for people that don't know who Marks are, like we're 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 wrestling big fans. wrestling big, fans, big big yes. wrestling fans. So you know, I I know how to embrace characters and character development, That's right. <laughs> like like Y two J right now. So so this is this is one of my many looks. And so this is just a new that, version. This is just the new version. That's all. <laughs> I might ditch it in six months and but do you don't something know. else. And go somewhere you don't else. know. Yeah, but um, all right. So at. here's what I want to do. Um, let's play a couple joints off the album mm -hmm. uh, and get people warmed up who are listening on Hot 97 may have not heard this album Stuff. yet. This right. Don't Smoke Rock album. Let me see where I want to go. Mm. You know what we'll do? We'll start with the single. Okay. Limitless. Yes. And Ladies. then and then we'll play Hold the Drums. Mm -hmm. and That's my favorite one. That's. Man, it's my favorite one. So we're gonna we're gonna play some joints off this smoke Dizzle, Pete Rock. So good. When we come back, I gotta ask Pete. Uh, I want to ask you about other people you're interested in working with. Mm -hmm. I want to ask you about uh, some comments you had about Kanye West. Mm -hmm. um, Smokey, want to see what else is going on with you, and uh, talk about the state of hip hop in general. Have some fun. Maybe yeah. ma maybe make Smoke Dizzle rap on an old Pete Rock beat. Who knows? Why not? I mean, you know, I'm, I'm a rap. I'm a rap for you. Yeah. So and, and we got you got Pete to ad lib. I mean, yeah. Yeah, I'm spoiled. I, I'd be scared. I'm gonna mess him up. Nah, 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 nah I might nah, have nah, to nah, coach nah, you nah. on your own ad lib. <laughs> <laughs> I remember these ad libs. Oh snap! Ooh, we rapping? Nah, not that. Oh, I'm about to say. Oh, nah, 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 we ain't gonna get so deep. Nah, we right, lax. Cool. We lax into right, this cool, song. Cool, 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 cool. Yeah, you know, you know, Smokey. I just recently. <laughs> interviewed uh, Pete and CL together for the first time. Really? Yeah, yeah like a, a couple months ago. I know, that was surreal. It yeah. was great. Yeah, yeah, and I've never, you know, because I've gotten to know, you know, Pete is one of the first, Pete is one of the first childhood heroes who I became friends with. Yeah. We've, I've, we've known each other for years yep, and years yep, now. Yep. Mm -hmm. But I, I never see CL. like, and, and it was just a random thing that I haven't gotten to see when they do shows. Yeah. And so they were doing the, um, the concert the uh, Masters of Ceremony. At the Barclay. Yeah, so me and Saif got to sit with them for a minute. It was great. Great to have that a conversation. Fun. That was fun. Yeah, it was a fun show. You guys are... So you guys are gonna continue doing this. Uh, you're gonna, you're gonna, you'll be out with CL out at, on random occasions, correct? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We're actually working on a new album right now, and and there's a potential for that. Yep. So, and next year, 2017 is gonna be a huge year for music. I believe between me, myself, you know, myself, CL Smooth, Smooth Dizza, and a lot of people I have lined up and artists that I got that I'm that I'm working with. Man, it's a cool time, like new artists. This it's a cool new artist we Brand don't know. Spanking new that you don't know that you're gonna know. Really? When you hear the music and the rapping. Well, this is very special. Cypher, we're in the middle of real late right now. Yeah, you don't see this every day. You can't be waltzing Holy in here all late. Shit. Get out of here. You can't curse on the radio, Dizzo. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. It's okay. Um. It's all right. It's okay. We, we'll edit it. Cypher, have a seat, man. Oh, Jump on in. I? Yeah. Come on, man. I, I'm just so excited to see this guy. He's I like, know. It's hologram Cypher right now. Cypher sounds back on Hot 97. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Especially in this building. Right. That's right. So yep. Cypher sounds. Here. How are you, Cypher? I'm wonderful. Now, Saif, have you gotten to listen to this Smoke Pete Rock album yet? I didn't yet because... You're sleeping. No, no, I'm going to tell you why. Because with albums like that, I got to sit in the car and listen to the whole thing Dang. straight through. So I haven't got a chance to You haven't a trip yet. yet. I haven't had like a, a nice... You know, I drive to Jersey. <laughs> right, nice little hour. Anywhere. I need, I, I can't listen to albums like that anymore without, I need like the old experience where I used to ride out. You, you know won't right, be mad right, though. Right. No, no, I know. I know. I Everybody's been be, telling that, me. That's a good yeah. time to wait to listen to it. No, I'm going to tell you. Everybody's been telling me. Yeah. What my, uh, when I made my WWE debut a couple weeks ago, I had a flight to Dallas at like six in the morning. Wow. And so I, I copped it. it. It had just come out Friday, I guess. I copped it. Um, got on the plane and just listened the whole way through. That's on the when plane. I got that early morning text. Yes. Oh, and I, that's when I was on the uh, that whole morning. I was Instagramming pictures from the album uh -huh. and stuff. Yeah. It's so good. So yeah, yeah, it's, yeah. yeah. You know, sometimes listen. If it had been trash, I would have had to pretend it was good because I love these guys. Right. <laughs> but it that's turned out. Are you that's pretending? No. Are you pretending that? No. 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 no I wouldn't no. have said that. No, I'm just joking. I'm just joking. That it just turned. It, it turns out it's so good. Mm -hmm. And we were talking about before we went on the air the idea of maybe you guys hitting the road with Prime, mm -hmm. DJ Premier, and Royce. That's a fantastic wow. tour right there. That's Can you like imagine? You're here, Europe, Japan, that so might, many places. That with might Michigan. happen. Yeah. That's that's a possibility. That might. Happen. might? Nah, Let me know if you need a I don't DJ. believe in that word. Oh, so that, will uh, that will happen. That will happen. Thanks for the pressure. Put the pressure. No, I want to put the, the pressure. pressure. Yo, Kino, where you at? Yeah. yeah. Pressure. <laughs> now, Pete, I, I rarely ask, like, um, you know, uh, topic of the day questions. Yes, yes. But I'm going to ask you. Yes. Uh, you were in, you were in, uh, like, a... Uh, comments on Instagram. Mm -hmm. um, speaking a lot of, of comments. Of, about Kanye. 
Oh. Um, that's what I was referring well, to. Well, not negative. No, no, no. Not okay. negative. Yeah, Showing yeah. support to yeah, him. Yeah, that's my boy. This was, um, you said you played him beats recently. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was just with him. So how awesome. how was, what was it like when you were with him recently? Yeah, and what, what kind of stuff were you playing for him? It was good. Like the same normal Kanye when I was with him when we was doing 808 Heartbreaks and, and the other album. Yep. In Hawaii. You know what I'm saying? Same old Kanye. You know, I ordered some food. He's you know, taking food out of my plate and we're sharing, you know what I'm saying, <laughs> talking about music and what we're going to do for this thing that he's doing now. So, Whatever he's working on right now. Yeah, but we just started, so it, it ain't nothing definite yet. I got to go back out there and, and lay down some more beats, you know? Now, do you have a do you have a different approach with, with someone like a Kanye, with someone who's a producer? Like, mm -hmm. like Smokey's an MC. Mm -hmm. He's not a producer. Mm -hmm. With someone like Kanye, who's a producer first, mm -hmm. is does it make the process different when you're playing them beats? Well, I always want to make sure that he, I give him a beat he likes. You know what I'm saying? And then we could elaborate on that. You know, you know, start working on that beat as a producer, and then the rapping just comes easy. So is it more bare bones when you give Kanye a beat, like more of a skeleton? Um, it's not like a finished. Mm, it's like almost finished. It's like maybe eighty percent finished, and then probably he. It's the twenty percent that needs to, um, mm. you know what I'm saying. And then you also just, and then you'll just like play him, um, like forty fives too. Yeah, we was in the, we was in there just jamming. I had, you know, went digging out there in L.A. Oh, so you just had a stack yeah, of forty fives box box. with me. You know what I'm saying? I was like, let me, let me play some of these for and you and just see if anything it gets yeah. them going. Yeah, and one couple of them did get them going. So, so what, what, what's it like for you when you know you have a friendly relationship, professional and friendly relationship with someone, mm -hmm. and it's always the same. When you guys vibe, it's mm -hmm. just our music. Mm -hmm. And then, you know, we're sitting around Wednesday, yeah. and he becomes the biggest story in the world with because the, he has Trump. a meeting with Donald Trump. <laughs> like, what? Do, you, do people hit you about it? Like, um, does your wife say to you, what the hell's going on with this no, guy? No, no. You know, people are respectful, man, when they're dealing with me because they know if I say someone's my friend, then I don't want to hear no, nothing bad about, about him. So, you know. It is what it is. That's a part of him that's going through something hard, man. You know what I'm saying? I, I, I'm looking at it like, you know, what he's going through is serious. You know what I'm saying? And, you know, I I, I, I experienced the normal Kanye. When he's around me, he's Kanye West, the it's producer, mute, yeah. the rapper. You know what I'm saying? And you don't you don't spend and a lot of time worrying about the, the, the other outside stuff. stuff. Nah, not at all. For what? Remember this? Remember this moment right here? Ooh. He asked me to rhyme on this. And I was like, uh, uh, over a damn place. Uh. Yeah, now, you know what bothers me about the song? Sife, I'm going to pull a Sife of okay. sounds here. Oh, yeah. And I'm going to nitpick for no reason. Just <laughs> here. Because my guess is, knowing Pete, he had the same thought. Maybe I'm wrong. Mm. When you made this song, mm. I know you made it for Kanye. Mm. And then... It ended up being him and Jay. Jigga man. So as a result, on the ad libs, yeah. which which Kanye decided to loop a thousand <laughs> times at the end, it's you just going, Pete Rock. I did a whole bunch Kanye. of Kanye. Yeah, I said Never says Jay's Jay. name. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know what? I didn't know that Jay was gonna get on the song. We right, were, right. He wasn't nowhere in sight right. at the time. Then he calls me two days later, said, Pete, listen to this. Young Guru called me and was like, yo, check this out. I'm driving, and I hear a familiar voice on my beat. So I'm like, hold on, let me pull over, yo. You know what I mean? And then I turned everything off, and I listened. And I was like, yo, is that Jay? And I flipped out. And I was like, all right, finally, we got something. Because I've been chasing Jay-Z forever. Never had one? Nah, never had one. Never that had was it. Jake. Yeah. Wow. And then it turned out to be, and then how crazy is it that, how much do you love? You have to love, right? <laughs> so, because... It, it, the first time I ever met Jay Z mm -hmm. in 1999 or so, mm -hmm. I'll never forget it. I was at WPGC in DC and I said, um, Who are your favorite producers? Blah, blah, blah. And he said, Pete Rock. Wow. And I said, Why didn't you do a song? Why haven't you done a song with him? Wow. Like right away. And he Jay. was like, Well, he was like, You know, it's just never. Yeah, we come just kept together. doing this. We kept doing this. Yeah, and then he, he and then it, it, like we we just went back and forth. I remember we had a whole conversation. Then he was like, he loved Marley Marl. Yeah. The only Marley Marl he'd ever done was that Shy yeah, remix. Yep, the Shy and like, one. Yep. So like we had a whole conversation. Yeah. 
fast forward 15 years later when this comes out, right? Mm. And he's a huge, the biggest star in the world. It had to be exciting just the fact that he says, Pete Rock, what? let the needle drop. Uh, <laughs> I, that's the part where I said, yo, wait a minute. Uh, I'm screaming at young guru like, stop. Uh, you know what I mean? It was it's crazy. Amazing. That was now, crazy. Uh, we're talking about Don't Smoke Rock. The album's out right now. Now, Smokey, mm. you did say, if I played a beat and you had Pete Rock here to ad lib on it, I rap to it. You might do something for the people. I ain't gonna mess you up, though. I ain't gonna... Come on, that's you. All right, you. Bye, my, my G. Let me see about this. <laughs> oh, so, whoa, this is, this is kind of crazy. Rah. He's live? Ooh, he live. Oh, he did the thing. The um, flesh, the biggie. Biggie was here. Like, yeah. He's, he's standing right there at the Biggie's time stand- I made this. Yeah? yeah. Word. Biggie was he's watching. Right there. He's right there. Oh, that's crazy. That's uh-huh. a, lot it's a lot of pressure. It's a lot of pressure. Yeah. Matt, you've pressure. heard that before, Cypher. No. Did yeah, I? he told us on Juan Epstein. I forgot. Yeah, yep. he he that, that Pete, make a beat right now. I want to see. You mean our hit podcast, Juan Epstein That's podcast, right. That's that right. Subscribe to right now. That's yep. right. And Pete told us that he, Biggie was standing oh, there. Yes. Like, make a beat. And he made this. I remember yep. that. Yep. Yep. And ladies, right, ladies and gentlemen, right now, we got Smoke Dizza in the house. We got Pete Rock in the house. We got Cypher Sounds in the house. Ooh. Hologram Ooh. Cypher. Ooh. Hologram Cypher. Real late, high 97. What you got, Smokey? I always got something for you. Let me see. Uh. Uh, I dream filthy. My mom's mixed with a guy and he's food and sticky. Bad boy, I'm about to roll a biggie. Shining like the Viffa if you think I'm jiggy. Shining like my nigga Poe in Belize getting licky licky. Oh. I got options, nigga, extra picky. That pussy good, but she needy. And that's where the shit get tricky. I seen it coming way before it hit periphery. I ain't your daddy chick. Don't act silly. Look in my eyes. Turn my hat to the back like Ken Griffey. My entity. MOB stack ends with me. It starts and ends with me. Stoner. Mm. All them niggas smell a sour D aroma The hippie white boys love me like the Jonas brothers <laughs> And I'm really from the hood and that's a bonus brother oh. They jacking my style trying to clone the brother mm. but Fuck it, nigga, charge the game I'm high as this is a marvelous strain <sighs> Uh, it's Smoke Dizza, Pete Rock, uh-huh. Cypher Sound. Cypher, got any bars for him? Oh, I thought you was about to <laughs> rap. <laughs> Yo. <laughs> he, he was I, I, like, I liked your, I liked your to bars us, the other day, too. What? I loved it, actually. But there was a good line. That was, it was a great line. But Shay, Shay LeBeau kind of blew LeBeau. my head off yeah. no, with what, his freestyle. You were impressed with his bars? Yeah, I was nah, kind of impressed I'm not going to lie. His, his, he was surprised. It was, it was surprised. He, he was surprised. I know. I agree. It was good. I didn't but know. then I heard yours. Uh, he, listen, I had to I know he I'm got biased. bars already. I'm biased. I'm biased. I'm biased. <laughs> so, you know. <laughs> let's, <laughs> let's not forget that. Uh, yep. Now, if I ever do drop another freestyle, uh-huh. I think it may be good. No, now, mm. Pete, you heard what I dropped on last time, yeah, right? Yeah, sure, yeah, yeah, yeah. I was bugging. I, I, was I like, forgot. Right, thing, Pete. I, you know what? I forgot whose idea that was. Mm. I think it was my man Ken Starr hit me oh. and was like, uh, why don't you rhyme on this? Yeah. Ooh. This is what I rhymed Common. on. Yeah. <sighs> it's stories behind these records, yeah. man. What's the story? Well, you know what? You know what we're going to do? You're going to have to get on. Juan Epstein to hear that story because okay. we're going to stop right. the radio show we're going right. to do some Juan Epstein right now right. Um, Smoke is a Pete Rock Don't Smoke Rock is yes. out right now. now right now Mount right Vernon now. to Harlem yes. Uh-huh. yes it's not a far ride money yeah. earning Vernon yep Right there. Right it's not a far yep. ride. Yep. What do you say? It's not a far ride from Mount Vernon to Harlem. No, nope. not too bad. Less than 20 minutes. Yeah, yeah. yeah there yeah. you go. It's easy. Um, all right, we're going to get into another song right now. Uh, as a matter of fact, we'll do some Pete Rock throwback coming up later. It's real late on Hot 97. <laughs>